Hey, this is Teddy. The question I got is, how can I get my reminders and my tasks to notify me? And secondly, how can I hide them from my screen so I don't see them when I don't need to see them on the screen? I'm going to show you how you can do that in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all of these videos for you. So you can see I have, um, you know, right here at 8 a.m., I have a, a tab. If I click on it, you, say, you can see it says do the video at this day, this time, create the system videos in my task. I can mark it as complete if I want. I can edit it or I delete it, but there is no notification option here. No notifications. Now, additionally, you can see over here, I have another one. And this right here is a reminder. And I, the, primarily the reason I know it's a reminder is because it's red and my reminder but, uh, button over here is, is dark red as well. I can edit it, I can delete it. It's at this time at 8 a.m. I can mark it as done, but there's no option for reminder. Now I can hide these really pretty easily by just hiding the individual calendars, the reminder uh, t reminders calendar or the task calendar, but I can't get them to do notifications. So here's what you need to do, my recommendation, for you to be able to get your reminders and your tasks to give you notifications and to be able to hide them. Put them on a regular calendar. Put them as an event, not a reminder and not a task. Make them events. Secondly, don't put them on the reminders or the task window put them on a secondary calendar window. Now I've created a secondary calendar called tasks, reminders and tasks. And you can see right here, I've taken this event, do the video, and I have it now, if I edit this, you'll see it is an event. It is, you know, at a particular day and time, I have the description box and I also have notifications. I can remove these and show you how to add them again. Just hit add notifications and make this, if I want to, I can make it 30 minutes and then I can add another one. I can make it 10 minutes. I can get it to be a notification or get it to be an email. So it's an event, not a task. And when I save that, I've saved it to the secondary calendar I've created called Reminders and Tasks. And so yeah, I can hide it if I want to hide it. And additionally, it will give me a standard Google Calendar notification, whatever that is for you, whether your notifications are pop up on your screen, on your cell phone, on your smartwatch, whatever it is that you want your notifications to do. Now, here's another one. Here's the, uh, the, the reminder I had. This is the task and here's a reminder. So I've done the same thing. I hit the edit button pencil. You can see I put this as a, uh, an event. I can make it repeat if I want to weekly on Thursdays. And I have my 10 minute, 10 minute notification and my 30 minute notification. I have the box to put all kinds of information. Furthermore, if I want to, I can mark these as free so they don't get in the way of anybody in the event we do validation against this calendar. Save that. And there it is there. Again, it's an event on the reminders and task calendar, which I can get rid of. And I can get rid of reminders and ta tasks all together because I have it all on one sub calendar that gives me notifications and the ability to hide them all at once. I'm Teddy, your Google Workspace and Gmail strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope this is useful for you.